What's going on everybody? Happy Sunday afternoon. Ah, weekend is almost over and Monday's breathing down our necks, but hey, let's have a little bit more fun, a little bit more enjoyment on the last few hours of this weekend, shall we? Let's go ahead and get into this video. Now I attempted to actually sit down and create a super long video of just finishing this, finishing this thing up in one shot, um, but there's so much left to do um, and I just don't have time to knock it all out that way. Um, I am you know, married with kids, I got a lot going on, so I just got to kind of break this up. I hope you guys can bear with me. Let's go ahead and launch our virtual machine. So we're going to mod, mod shift V is going to launch my launcher. We're going to scroll down to void. We're going to hit enter and we're going to boot into our void Linux uh, virtual machine. That's where we're using to set up DWM. Now we're going to get a few more patches in today. We're going to get some wallpaper set up. Um, I did have a gentleman request that this actually be a suckless build. So we are going to be using suckless utils for this whole thing um, outside of the browser. I will not use surf. I can't stand it, but we will use D menu for our run launcher. We'll use ST simple terminal for our terminal emulator, and we will use DWM for our window management. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Oh, and we'll use SL status for our status bar. So let's log in with our username of Jake, and we're going to do our super secret password. Let's clear the screen and type start X. Now when this opens up, we have no wallpaper. Just a black screen. For the purposes of this video, that doesn't really matter because we're just building stuff, but let's just take a second here and get some wallpaper set up, shall we? What we need to do first is we need to launch a terminal. We're going to zoom in with control shift page up in um, ST and we are going to do a sudo xbps dash install dash s and we are going to do x wallpaper now there are multiple different um, programs you can use to set wallpaper you can use Fay, you can use nitrogen um, I think there's a couple more out there but um, I just wanted to, I think I'm going to screw this password up, but nope, okay. I just wanted to uh, use X wallpaper because that's what I use on all my machines. Um, outside of Qtile, um, X wallpaper is used to set my wallpaper on everything I have because it's just a great little program. So we now have X wallpaper installed, so let's clear the screen. Um, let's actually go to Workspace 2 and launch a burner terminal since we don't have a run menu yet. So let's go ahead and launch Firefox. Now we need to jump to Workspace 9. It's going to open up Firefox, and we are going to go Control L to put us in the search bar, and let's do Wallpapers. Um, and let's go to Images, and let's find a wallpaper we want to use. Something just nice and simple that we can just throw up there real quick that's not going to blind everybody. Um, and let's... Actually, I might have one saved already from my other video. So let's actually go over to Workspace 1 here real quick. Let's CD into Pictures. I do. Okay, and let's do an LS. I do. I have a wallpaper saved. So I downloaded a wallpaper when I was trying to shoot this video prior, um, and I never deleted it. So that's good news. So let's go back home, and we're going to CD, and then we're going to CD into .dwm. Now remember, in our .dwm, if I do an LS, there is an auto start .sh script. This is where we're going to launch anything we want to start. Our wallpaper is where we launch our SL status. Any startup scripts we want to run, this is where we're going to run it from for DWM. So let's go ahead and vim into auto start and go ahead and enter. Now what we need to do is we need to go into insert mode and we need to drop down a line or two from SL status and we need to just type in x wallpaper space dash dash zoom and then the path to that um, image. So we're going to do pictures and it was trees.jpg and then we're going to background that and we're going to write and quit. Uh, now what should happen when I hit mod shift Q and close out of DWM and my X session, when I log back in, I should have that wallpaper. So let's do mod shift Q. That's going to log me out of my X session, and we're going to type start X again, reload our session, and there we go. Now we have wallpaper. So that is one step down. So now what I wanted to do is I had a gentleman request that I install um, Vanity Gaps by Bakeby. And I apologize if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, Stein Bakeby has a great uh, DWM program called FlexiPatch. It's the super easy way to install DWM. I prefer to build things myself, and so that's why we're going through this route. But if you don't want to take all this trouble and patch it this way, you can use DWM FlexiPatch by Bakeby. Um, and you can just look for his repo on GitHub. But if I go ahead and launch a terminal, and we're going to mod shift page up to zoom in, or excuse me, control shift page up to zoom in. I'm going to cd into dot config and suckless and cd into dwm and do an ls and you can see I have two different patches right here. I have dwm vanity dot diff and I have dwm vanity gaps dash 6.2 dot diff. This one here is directly from his repo. This one here is from 
the suckless.org website in their patches. Um, I don't know that there's a whole lot of difference between the two. Um, I didn't actually sit through and read Lighten for Lion. They're both really long. I did attempt to install both of them. They both failed basically the exact same way. So let's just go ahead and try and install one of them and um, see what we're doing. But first, let's go to Workspace 2. We're going to mod shift, enter, and we're going to launch Firefox and hit enter. We're going to go over to Workspace 9. Control L is going to put us in the search box again. And we are going to go to suckless.org. We're going to click on DWM. We are going to go down to patches. And all the way down at the bottom of the patches, we have right here we have vanity gaps. <clears throat> so he has a couple different options here, um, one for tiling only, or a couple for tiling only. Um, and uh, this one here, CFAX, is for something different. Um, but uh, if we use vanity gaps here, this is the one I have downloaded. So you can also go, if we go over here and go to open another or, uh, window here, or another tab, we can type in Bakeby GitHub. And there he is, Steingunner Bakeby, or Bakeby, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, we're going to go into his repositories. And we are going to scroll down until we see patches, which is right here. So you click on patches and then go into DWM and you can clone his entire repository of all these patches or you can just take one at a time like I did I just copied and pasted it um, but if we come in here you can scroll down it's he's got quite a few patches as you can see um, a great resource here um, <clears throat> keep going um, right here vanity gaps 6.2 vanity gaps 6.3 so um, Let's go ahead and open Vanity Gap 6.3 because I think, if I recall, I downloaded the other one for 6.2. So let's go ahead and, uh, so this one's January of 2022. So this is a newer patch. So let's just go ahead and use this one instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. I'm going to scroll down, and I'm sorry, but this might take a few minutes, but I am going to, um, we are going to scroll all the way down to the bottom here. I'm just kind of looking and scanning as I scroll. We're going to go to the bottom. I'm going to copy all of that. Then we're going to go back to Workspace 1 here. We are going to vim into dwm-vanity.diff. And I am going to basically... Actually, let's write and quit on that. Let's rm dwm vanity.diff. And let's vim dwm vanity.diff and hit enter. No, nope, that's not it. it dwm vanity.diff. Yeah, okay. And then hit control shift V. That should copy everything in there. We're going to write and quit. And so now if I do an ls, we have that back dwm vanity.diff. So now let's go ahead and patch using the one from his repo as opposed to the one right here from the uh, dwm suckless website. So let's do a patch dash p1, and we're going to do d, and we're going to do the lowercase or the lowercase, the uh, less than symbol. And we're going to say dwm vanity dot diff, and hit enter. So now we have a failed in our first file, the config dot dot h, and we have a failure in our second file, the dwm dot c. So first things we need to do is let's clear the screen and um, let's do an LS again. And what I really like about DWM, and somebody pointed this out to me again um, on my last video, um, but if you look at these files right here, whenever you have an error in um, doing your patch, it'll give you a reject file and it'll show you which block of code it rejected. So we need to vim into config.dev.h.reject and hit enter and you can see it left out one, two, three, four, five lines. So these five lines have been left out. Um, let's zoom out a little bit. And then let's do a new and config.def.h because now what we can do is we can split our screen. On the bottom we have the lines that it needed to add. We can find where those need to go up here and just copy them over. So you can see they should go right under the border picks and snap, which is right here, border picks and snap. So let's go into insert mode. Let's create a space underneath snap. Let's do control W down is going to bring me down here. We're going to go into visual mode and highlight all this stuff. Um, and 
one, we are going to then do a yank and control W up and we're going to do a paste. Now we are going to, let's get rid of that empty space. Now do a control V and get rid of these pluses. And then we can write and quit because we have now copied the lines that we were missing that did not patch correctly and we've moved them correctly over to our config.def.h. So now the other file that we have a reject file on is that dwm.c.reject and that one actually had one rejection out of four hunks of code. So let's vim into dwm.c.reject and hit enter. And it looks like we just need to change one thing here. We need to remove static void tile monitor. So let's go ahead and just go back and do this here and we're going to do dwm.c so we're going to split the screen and open up our dwm.c and you can see we need to remove static void tile so let's go and search for that so let's look for static void tagmon since that's the line right before it void tagmon and so we've got static void tagmon tag and spawn so we have tagmon tag and spawn so static void tile monitor um, should be removed. So we need to remove that line. So we're just gonna highlight or put our cursor there. We're gonna hit DD. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna write and quit. We're gonna write and quit. And now we are going to do a CP of uh, config.def.h to config.h and hit enter. And now we should be able to build this and end up with vanity gaps. So let's do a sudo make clean install and hit enter. We're gonna type in our super secret password. We're gonna hit enter, keep our fingers crossed and we built with no errors. So now when I log out of my X session and log back in, I should have gaps. Now you see if we go over to workspace three here and we launch a couple windows, we have a little bit of a gap here and a little bit of a gap here, but not nothing between these windows this way, nothing over. So it's, it's not, uh, ideal but if we quit out of there and we restart our X session and we launch a window BAM look at that we have these massive gaps that we can now go in and change but we do have gaps now enabled on our DWM system so now today we've set up gaps and we've set up wallpaper let's go ahead and <laughs> sorry about that uh, I'm gonna get my normal key bindings confused with the factory key bindings on DWM for quite a while so I apologize so let's do a start X again to get it back into our X session um, let's go ahead and launch a terminal launch Firefox go over to workspace 9 and we are going to do suckless.org and we are going to install D menu so we go over to the tools tab and then we go here to D menu um, D menu 5.2 so we are going to right click on that and we are going to save link um, we are going to put it in our suckless directory and we are going to hit enter then we're going to go back to um, workspace 1 or actually we'll go to workspace 2 we'll launch a terminal we'll zoom in let's cd into dot config cd into suckless do an ls and now you can see we have our d menu tar file so we're going to do a tar dash xvf and do d menu and hit enter and it's going to decompress that for us if we do an ls now you can see we've got a d menu 5.2 we're going to cd into d menu and hit enter and we're going to do a sudo make clean install and hit enter we're going to enter our super secret password that's going to build for us now if we do a mod shift q and log out and do a start x and hit enter um, I'm mod P is now going to launch our D menu and we can launch Firefox and everything from our run launcher now so we now have our run launcher installed we have some wallpaper installed we have our vanity gaps installed and we are really moving along on this uh, build of DWM so I think I will actually stop there for today. Um, I apologize. I wanted to get a few more things done, but again, I've just got to squeeze these things in when I've got time. I hope you guys can uh, understand that, and I hope you guys can bear with me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and if you've got any suggestions, like I said, on patches you want to see installed, please, by all means, let me know. And we will work on getting those installed too. I install very few patches when I do DWM because I just want the bare minimum stuff that I want and know I'm going to use. Uh, but if there's anything specific to you that you would like, uh, let me know. We can't get too carried away because that you run into some big issues then, but um, we can at least 
work on getting a few more in that uh, that people want to see. So that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, a great rest of your evening. Stay safe. God bless.